Nine forecast. We have a variety of weather to talk about. Let's get right to it. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. It's mostly a cold rain for much of the region today. We've already reached our daytime high around midnight in the 50s. Throughout the day, we will be stuck in the 40s. Rainy conditions with temperatures stuck in the 40s right into this evening. Now this evening, there's a risk for a thunderstorm and a downpour. Right now, numbers are ranging from the upper 30s in Stanton to the upper 40s in Charlottesville. NBC 29's live Doppler radar network is starting to show a little bit of light rain approaching from the southwest. And since it's going to be just cold enough for the higher elevations, there's a winter weather advisory from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. for the central Blue Ridge Mountains, the Shenandoah Valley. But I-64 at Afton will be wet and also I-81 will be on the wet side as well before elevations greater than 2000 feet. So like over at Wintergreen, there could be a light glaze of ice. Uh, there could also be a little bit of sleet at the onset for the Shenandoah Valley, but more importantly, there's an ice storm warning for the northern Blue Ridge Mountains from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. for elevations mostly greater than 2000 feet. So that's mostly above uh, Route 33 from Green into Rockingham County is going to be on the wet side. Uh, we're talking about uh, up to two tenths to four tenths of an inch of glaze of ice on those tree branches. And there could be a little bit of snow and sleet accumulation as well, but that's going to be mostly confined to the highest of elevations. Watching the rain approach from the southwest, it's going to fill in and become heavy at times. There's a severe weather risk category with this as well. 20 to watch from Memphis down to Shreveport. Now this is going to head eastbound and give us a close call when it comes to severe weather. The overall severe weather category is from Kentucky on down into Middle Tennessee and into North Georgia. We're in an isolated category. That means any downpour or thunderstorm this evening could pack a punch with gusty damaging winds for a few communities, but it's mostly going to be some gusty winds with just general rainfall and the winds will be blustery on Saturday as we dry out from the northwest. So our high rise weather tracker shows today temperatures mostly in the 40s. Here's noon to 5 p.m. Scattering of showers. Here's 5, 6, 7 p.m. A better chance for downpour and a thunderstorm and then they'll exit after midnight. The temperatures come up through the 50s at daybreak. Tomorrow morning we're in the 40s and low 50s with sunshine breaking out. Gusty winds tomorrow with highs in the low to mid 50s for the valley, upper 50s and low 60s for the central part of the Commonwealth. A half inch to an inch of rain is projected with this system, so we're not expecting flooding. Your seven day forecast shows us the, a better weather pattern for the weekend. 60 tomorrow for Charlottesville, mid 60s for Sunday. So Sunday is my pick day of the weekend because of the less wind and more sunshine and milder conditions next week. Upper 60s Monday and Tuesday, lows near 50 and then we'll trend cooler and mainly dry. Highs in the 50s next Wednesday and Thursday and lows near freezing.